Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the rollout of Windows Recall back on the 18th of June um, in, and on Copilot Plus PCs, as we have been speaking about on the channel, um, it hasn't been the most popular choice for a lot of users due to privacy and security concerns. And then Microsoft pulled Windows Recall and will be reintroducing it for further testing in the Insider program starting in October. Now, as I posted um, last week, and I'll leave the video of this link down below and in the end screen, with the Windows 11 24H2 update that rolled out last week for Copilot Plus PCs, KB5041865, the update made it possible to uninstall Recall from Copilot Plus PCs. So just a quick recap, because as mentioned, that video will be down below and in the end screen. If you are running a Copilot Plus PC after installing update 5041865 and you head to your turn windows features on or off menu, there was an entry listed in this list called recall. Now I'm not running a Copilot Plus PC, but nonetheless, um, you would see it in this um, location, recall, and then you would uncheck the box and follow the steps and you were able to uninstall recall from your Copilot Plus PC. Now, apparently, according to Microsoft, this is not going to be the case, and apparently that is a bug. And Microsoft has said to The Verge in a statement, and I'm quoting, that it is aware of an issue where recall is incorrectly listed as an option under the Turn Windows Features on or off dialog in Control Panel, and they have said to The Verge, this will be fixed in an upcoming update. So it seems now that having an option to completely uninstall recall is not going to be an option in the future and although windows recall um, will not be able to be uninstalled as i've mentioned previously on the channel it will be an optional feature that you can choose to disable when setting up um, your pc or at a later stage by heading into your settings and i'll leave a video i posted on how to disable recall in a copilot plus pc if you would be interested, link down below and in the end screen. So unfortunately, um, for some reason, that update pushed out a bug that placed that entry in the uh, in the features list as shown. And Microsoft says not the case, and it's going to be fixed in an up-and-coming update. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.